what do you get triggered about? Just keep it pretty cool about all this stuff. I, I just realized that my ideas about things are so heretical mostly that I'm willing to sit through almost anything. I feel like you get triggered when people tell you that you're wrong about these ideas. There's a really funny thing when somebody knows some college level version of a story and they want to tell me that they got an A in college physics or college quantum physics or whatever it is. And they have to sit here and browbeat me and show me that they know all of their college physics and that I'm an idiot because I clearly don't know this stuff, which of course I obviously took the same courses as well, right? And so it's this kind of painful process of just getting shamed by this person because what I'm telling them wasn't in a textbook, which it obviously isn't. And that's kind of the whole point of the conversation I'm trying to have with them. It's like, hey, like you're, the textbooks actually don't address a lot of this stuff. And so they have to go through telling me that they know all the stuff that they know. And then I'm like, yeah, I know that too. But let's tie these pieces together and see what questions still remain to be answered. And in the best case scenario, we get to a point where they're interested in tying the pieces together. But more often than not, they've already tuned out from the first moment where the heretical idea is advanced, and they've just written me off as some idiot who didn't take the college physics class. And they just aren't interested. By the time they're done demonstrating that they took the college physics class, they're satisfied and they want to talk about something else. And so when it comes to something like the origins of galaxies, the origins of stars, planets, when we, there are actually really interesting open-ended questions. As far as I can tell, modern planetary science and astrophysics hasn't really firmly solved some of these questions. They certainly haven't solved how the, the something comes from nothing during the Big Bang. Um, but even like how you, it comes to be that we're standing on the most dense body that we know of as far as of normal matter. I'm not talking about black holes and white dwarfs and stuff, but... Tangible, ponderable matter yeah. that's not seen <laughs> through the lens of a telescope. This thingy that we're on right now is insane. Like, we're on a rock that is way more dense than anything else in the solar system, including the sun itself. How does that make any sense if they're all supposed to have congealed out of this swirling dust thingy? Right? So there's, like, really interesting open questions, but... If somebody gets the sense that you aren't aware of the standard story, that becomes the entire conversation. Because you don't get triggered as much as you used to, and I think that that is uh, really admirable because people don't treat you very kindly. I can kind of evade their defenses. I've said this before where it's like when I talk about this kind of stuff, it's kind of like a pig has suddenly started talking and they're like, my God, that talking pig is talking about physics. That's incredible. I think it used to bother me when I was younger because they would treat me like I hadn't taken the college physics course. And so I just, I don't know why that bothered me, but I was just like, how dare you think that I haven't <laughs> taken the college <laughs> physics course? And I'm like, that's like, why are you treating me like this? I've obviously taken the college physics course. And nowadays I'm more just like, well, of course, what I'm saying is so heretical that the only thing that they can do to rescue themselves from this cognitive dissonance is assume I'm ignorant and haven't studied the books. And so I'm kind of more willing, I just anticipate that to be the, the general reaction at first. And so I'm willing to just sit through people's wrestling with this and like comfort them that I have actually understood the canon. Like I see the story that's being told. I don't have any misconceptions about it, but I still see that there's giant gaps in the story that's being told. And how would you like to discuss them? And most people who come from that level of authority just fold at that point. They're like, I have to, I don't know about this. I have to do some reading and maybe I'll get back to yeah. you. And then they don't. Oh, they'll say something like, well, you could say anything then. They'll do that. Or it's philosophy and it's meaningless. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's not science. Okay. So uh, this is a really interesting thing because I feel like uh, people get triggered for good reasons. Like, I don't think that being triggered is necessarily a full, full bore bad thing. Because oftentimes people become triggered by the fact that a story is being told in a way that does not seem to stand up to scrutiny. And this is another reason that I want to be able to talk to people because that may or may not have a good idea. Because I think in a lot of cases, 
people are their own worst enemy in terms of how they present the story that they're trying to tell the world. We see this all the time. And I could be one of those people. And I'm really interested. Like, I like trying out ideas, too. And I think that we were. Like, I think that we've really honed how we tell this story and we've really figured something out, which is the fact that if you are going to tell a story about how the world is different from what everybody thinks is happening, requires you first to be able to make the strongest possible case that you understand how the world came to look the way that it does right now. That you have a full spectrum understanding of the history, of the pieces that went into constructing, the theories that preceded you, you understand where they made the mistakes, you can demonstrate a kind of mastery of the subject that doesn't necessarily have to come from academic training. Like you can be an autodidact that has just spent all of your time reading redacted day reports about zero point energy, and you can have a full understanding of the history. But in order for me to be able to sit down and listen to your presentation, you have to be able to do that. And without that, it feels like you're making, you're just saying stuff. Or you might be saying something that's not particularly new or insightful. 